we're at the uh, Red Bull Studios here in New York City. We're hosting a special edition of the uh, TC5 TMT graffiti battle that's going on. We have a uh, scale model IRT number four train. The proportions are identical to a New York City subway train, so it's 47 feet long by seven feet high. The way it's situated in the downstairs sub-basement area looks like it's in a layup. So it's actually pretty amazing to see these guys in what looks like a tunnel battling today. I think the conversation was as simple as I wonder if like the 93 Bulls could have beaten the 80 something Celtics. You could really kind of test this theory, like why don't we take it to the yard? Rather than flex their creative muscle today and show off what they could really do, they kind of took it back and they brought us back to the classics. So when Spud Webb walks into the gym, you don't want to see him host anything, you want to see Spud get up and dunk. I am seen, the scene, TC5. We're taking it back to the days where me and uh, Scheme were partners. It's been about 30 years since me and him connected, and this is sort of the beginning of an ongoing tournament or battle between TC5 and TNT. Me and Scheme basically hooked up in the 80s. We first started basically just killing insides and then graduated to doing pieces together. Let me tell you, fella, this is on point. This, you got the feel not only because of the car, but where it's located, it gives you the feel of being in a layup. Right scheme, S-K-E-M-E, T-M-T, -E -T, the magnificent team, the money team, the Midas touch, the magical two. I don't know the quote is, man, you know, I'm having an orgasm, man. Yo, look at it. It's like something that's able to give us the real true feeling of writing. It's not the same when you write on a wall on a, on a flat surface like that, because you don't have to deal with the depths and the, the rivets and the windows. This right here, this train, these mock-ups, they give you the true feeling of writing on a train. My characters always have been caricatures of myself. Basically, when you're 16 and 17, I think kind of like my mother said, we, we never think we're gonna die. You know, we used to all stand on the third rail, jump up and down on the third rail, feet within inches of the third rail, but none of that stuff bothered us. You got rival crews getting raided, getting run over by a train, but that was just part of the business.